What has a person who is aged 37 or less missed out on? Someone who was born 37 years ago in 1984 has never experienced a month where temperatures have been normal or below normal. So there has not been a single month out of the last 444 months when temperatures have followed the normal trend. In 2021, this happened despite the cooling effects of the La Nina at the beginning and towards the end of the year. Therefore, 2021 has followed the same pattern as the decade gone by. There is a good chance that this trend will continue as climate change rages on. The effects of this warm weather have manifested across the globe. July of 2021 set new records globally, with Asia having its warmest July on record, while Europe its second warmest. These conditions probably created the severe wildfires in southern and southwestern Turkey and eastern Spain. In Argentina, 75% of the Parana Basin underwent moderate to exceptional drought. On the other extreme, there were devastating floods at many places. On July 20, Zhengzhou region in Henan province of China received 382 mm of rain in 6 hours. The region gets about 641 mm of rainfall annually. Between July 13 and 15, Germany and Belgium also experienced floods that killed 100 people. Some locations in the countries received twice their monthly rain in the three days. Flooding in India, Ethiopia, Sudan, Nepal and Japan also killed 900 people overall. But the most freak events took place in the Arctic region. The region where polar bears live and the region which is often called the climate capital of the earth. Any change in the Arctic has ramifications in the weather patterns across the world. But two freakish and disturbing events in the Arctic may have set in motion other extreme climatic events across the world. The first was rainfall at the summit station of the Greenland Ice Sheet, which is perched at 3,200 meters above sea level. This is the highest point of the ice sheet and has never experienced rainfall before on record. On August 14, 2021, Along with the rainfall, temperatures rose above 0 degrees Celsius for around 9 hours, leading to rapid melting of ice all throughout the ice sheet. There was widespread melting for the next three days. On August 14, the melting extended across 872,000 square kilometers, a size larger than the geographical area of entire South India. Now, the Greenland ice sheet has seen rain only four times ever, but never at the summit station, its highest point. When was the first time that rain happened on the Greenland ice sheet? It was in 1995. If fingers need to be pointed, they must be pointed at global warming. The Arctic is warming up at twice the rate as the rest of the world. The second extraordinary weather event in the Arctic region was also connected to warm sea surfaces and higher than normal air temperatures. In the middle of July, the region was struck by three consecutive storm days accompanied by lightning, an event that forecasters hadn't seen before. The genesis of storms also needs heat on the surface of the ocean or the land to generate convection, which normally should not be available in the Arctic. Lightning strikes in the Arctic have tripled in the last decade. The disruption of the Arctic weather systems means disruption of weather patterns in the rest of the world. Extreme rainfall in southern India in the month of January 2021 could be linked to stratospheric warming in the Arctic. During such events, the temperature of the stratosphere, the second layer of the atmosphere, can increase by up to 50 degrees Celsius within 10 days. This disrupts the stratospheric polar vortex, a fast-flowing band of winds over the Arctic, which in turn can have wide-ranging impacts in the tropospheric wind patterns across the world. Just like no weatherman could imagine rains and convective storms over the Arctic, no one could imagine parts of Canada experiencing temperatures similar to the Gulf countries. Temperatures increased by over 15 degrees Celsius over the normal in many places in Canada in the last week of June. Temperatures touched 49.6 degrees Celsius in Lytton, a village in Canada's British Columbia province. Heat waves caused wildfires in the forested areas of the impacted regions. In fact, 90% of the village of Lytton was destroyed by the wildfire there. Wildfires released smoke which formed clouds. These clouds generated mini storms which caused more lightning strikes. These lightning strikes ignited more wildfires, creating a loop. During the heat wave, Canada witnessed 710,117 lightning strikes over a single night. 2021 saw every country in every continent breach climate barriers. Every region saw breaches in the temperature records. Two cyclones, one each over the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea, hit India in the month of May. 
Both of these cyclones were formed in the month which is not known for activity. October saw high temperatures even though La Nina had begun. Now we have only listed a handful of weather events here. There were hundreds more which we have not spoken about. But all these are a product of 1.1 degree Celsius temperature rise. That is where we are at at the end of 2021. One can only imagine what will happen if the temperatures increase by 2.7 degrees Celsius like the scientists have predicted. Will there be a world left by then?